What is happening, YouTube? Been a while, right? All right, let's see if this works. So, let me just check. Okay, I guess it's still recording. Um, yeah. Okay, so. This is one of my score sheets that I use, okay? Now, if you look here, the pattern I use is player, banker, player, player, banker, player. Here's the problem. My wife and I have been using this for a couple weeks now, and it's been working out good. And like any system, it works until it doesn't. So tonight, um, yeah, we've had a total of four or six Marty wipeouts between the both of us. She had one, I had three. So I'm gonna jump into some live play and show you some of the other methods that I use. Make sense? All right, as soon as the new shoe starts, I will be back. Hey guys, all right, so we're back. We're, I'll show you exactly what's going on here. Uh, I'm over here at DraftKings. And we're going to do a live video, something I haven't done before. So we're going to jump into this shoe. Now, what I normally do is on my scorecard that I showed you guys earlier, I'll catch myself up to where we are in the shoe. All right, so let's see, banker, player, player, banker, banker, player, banker, player, player. Okay, so a couple of different methods I'm going to be using. The first one is coming up. We have two players and a banker, right? So I'm going to bet player. And I'm going to play the chop here, okay? I'm not going to do player, 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 or player, player, banker. I'm just going to play the chop for the first three. Then after the, that, I'll do two and one. And that last one, I'll have to figure out at the end. So as I said earlier, we had some major wipeouts here. Um... I mean, I, I mean, we, we, we take money out, uh, you know, we make withdrawals, but uh, we also had some wipeouts here tonight. So uh, my balance is not what it normally is. So, <clears throat> okay, so that result came up as banker. So now again, I'm playing the chop. So, I know everybody's screaming right now, it's twos, bed player. Well, let's just wait and see what happens. So, yeah, a little bit of bad luck going on here tonight. But it is what it is. If they didn't call it gambling, you know, they call it something else. Okay. And that's part of the reason why you should trust your system. Uh, what I'm going to be going for here is I'm going to try to get 10 wins out of this. $5 because of where my balance is at. Now, the next time this switches over to player, I am going to continue to do the same thing. I'm going to bet player, and I'm going to play the chop off of there. And again, we're just going to have to see how this goes. Now, aside from that, I'm also doing another method. Um, I don't know if anybody's come up with this, but uh, I call it bottoms up. So basically what I do is I take the results of the first row. I go from the bottom up, and I do no mirror on them. Okay? So if I don't have any triggers like I have now, that's what I'll do. And I play columns of six, as I showed you on my scorecard. On evolution here, they have rows of eight, and it, you know, gives you less rows to play, and it, well, really screws me up. And I'm going to be playing six-step Martys, okay? Um, so starting at five and then working my way up to whatever. Uh, what is it, $160 is the last bet. Okay, so anybody who might be keeping score, 
Um, I am in my second column. Now, there haven't been any ties, but I don't count ties. Uh, and that's two wins already. Now, there won't be anything else coming up in this column. So, I'm going to mark it on my sheet that there's two uh, wins for that column. So we have this hand, and then the next hand starts a new column. Now, generally, when I do column play, I go for one win per column. Okay? Um, playing what multiple methods allows you to get more wins. Okay, so same thing. We're at the top of a new column, and we're going to do $5 on player. Now, this would go opposite of my bottoms up method, okay? Um, but we have that trigger, and this is what we're going to do. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not here to teach anybody how to play. I'm just showing you how I play. Does it always work? No, of course not. Um, but if anybody can give me or show me a method that works 100% all the time, other than not playing, I'd pay you for it. So, again, let me get the disclaimer out. I'm trying to bet and talk at the same time. I'm not trying to teach you how to play. I'm showing you methods that I use. If you choose to use them, that's entirely up to you. Okay, PSA out of the way. Let's get back to playing Bach. So, DraftKings. Um, yeah, they use Evolution software. I know there's a couple of people out there that doesn't like it. You gotta remember, Evolution is just the software they use to record the bets and the money. It has nothing to do with the cards. Okay. Um, as you can see, the cards are in clear shoes. And if you look in the background... Okay, um, there is a shuffler hand shuffling the cards. I won't play where they use electronics because there's way too much fuckery that can happen with that. And, uh, well, I, I some days I barely survive as it is, so I don't need to go against the machine, right? All right, so we're in a pretty good shop right now, and I'm sure everybody is screaming, play the chop! Well, you know what? Normally I would. Here's the thing about my luck. The quickest way to end a run, whether it be a run of banker player or a chop like this, is for me to bet on it. So, I'm going to do the Baccarat World of Favor and not bet on it. Okay, it's a tie. I don't record the ties. So sometimes it can be boring. On a sticky shoe, um, it's pretty high action. <laughs> Pardon me. I've been fighting that yawn since I started this video. Um, oh, where was I? Blah, 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 yawn. Oh, yeah. Ending a run. Okay, so we got two players. Um, yeah, so on a sticky shoe, it, it can be pretty high action. On a choppy shoe like this, not so much, but also the method I was showing you guys earlier, the... Um, uh, player banker, player player, banker player on a shoe like this is death. Okay, so uh, I won't even attempt it in this shoe. Okay, another player. All right, so if it doesn't switch back after this hand, this is going to be the end of one of my columns. Um, 
I'll be doing my bottoms up. Okay, so again, that's the results of the first six from the bottom up playing no mirror. Okay, makes sense. Everybody got that? Okay, the cards are perfect. Pull the next one. Okay, player. All right, so the first six, the last one was a player, so we're betting banker. So, yeah, DraftKings, uh, for me, I live in New Jersey, and um, here we have rules. You know, we can't play offshore unless you're using a VPN and, you know, there's legal issues with that. So we're not going to even talk about that. Um, so for me, uh, this is what I use now. 888 Casino, believe it or not, is the same table as this. And there's only one table. On DraftKings, I have two tables that I could choose from. I have this table and then there's a speed box. All right, so that was a win in that column. So that's awesome. Now, because it switched from player to banker, uh, I'm going to start betting player. And hopefully we'll get our second one in this column. Or I'll get my second one in this column. I don't know what this we is. No, it's my multiple personalities. The problem with multiple personalities and voices in your head is when they learn to speak foreign languages and you don't speak them. I know they're talking about me. Okay, so last one we did was player, right? So we're going to do banker. And I'm just going to play the chop. I'm going to play the chop for three losses. And then, like I said, the last three. Two will be the same. The sixth one, I'll have to see what the shoe is doing. I'm right 50% of the time. Okay. So that's two ones for this column. So normally I would call this column done, but if you've been playing, you know what's going to happen. Most likely a banker is going to come up and then I'm going to start betting player, which will be the third time in this column. And being that I'm now down... Ooh, 500 for the night. Um, yeah, I got to win as much as possible. And the reason why, I mean, like I said, you know, we, we took a withdrawal, but the, the issue is, is that at the $2,500 range, uh, you know, of bankroll, you can generally pull 1500 to 2000 a day. Uh, which is kind of where, you know, I need to be. All right, so when banker, 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 player, so we're going to bet player. Again, it doesn't matter what the results are. Bet player and bet the chop. Again, that's what I do. Smart Money Group may have a different way. Wilson may have a different way. Mr. Bacologist has a different way. Uh... This is just works for me. And they really need to do something about these ties. I mean, I know it's a money maker for the casino, but I don't know, flip a coin, something like that. The reason why the numbers come up lazy, this table, <laughs> I don't know why, but 
this table they have an issue with the uh, uh, if you don't know all the dealers they have a foot button right uh, and they push that button to get the cards to be revealed on the screen this table for the past two months they've had a problem with the foot button and everybody struggles with it okay so time for a dealer change sin is going away oh we got daniela daniela is cute i like her my wife likes her so all these dealers are in new jersey um you know the casino here is in a I don't know, somebody's basement in New Jersey or the back of a tractor trailer on I-95. Who knows? Um, I don't have my sound on, but I like her. You know, she gets up there and she's like, two for the players, one for the bankers. And uh, she's great. She's quick. So. All right, banker wins. So that was actually three wins in that column. So now I'm at the start of a new column. Uh, so we're gonna bet player because we had a switch. Now, when I first started playing, I tried reading the shoe and it had disastrous results. Um, so I've stopped doing that. So that's why I've come up with my different ways of betting strategies. So, okay, so for me, I if I was playing bottoms up, that wouldn't have won. So now I'm going to finish, try to finish playing bottoms up. So I'm going to bet $5 again on player, because for me, that's where I would be betting. It was the second to last position, no mirror. Okay, and now, um, banker. Again, so for me, my betting sequence is banker, player, banker, player, player, banker. Again, we're looking at the first six results. If you look at the bead plate, go from the bottom up from six to one and, uh, do a no mirror. So that's what I'm looking at. If you think that's confusing, just wait. I've got other strategies that will absolutely melt your mortal brain. Now, of course, none of them work 100%. But, you know, you combine them all and the casino has to catch you doing any one of them at that particular time. Okay, so uh, player, banker, player, so player. So again, I know we're in a chop, but let's see what happens. Well, if you're going to get beat, get beat by a nine, right? And we're going to do player again. Hopefully this chop continues. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, man, did I screw up. Okay, so I'm actually going to do player here. I was looking at the first result of my column. See, that's what I mean about it being confusing. I, I, I screw myself up a lot of times. Okay, so there's a banker. And this last one. I need to go on banker, so there's me one fifty. 
Okay, let's see if this wipes out. How about that? We get to live to fight another day. I live to die another day. Okay, I don't know about you guys, I was getting a little nervous there. So that was one count that count. So so far my total is eight wins. There's a run, play the run. No, I'm not gonna do that. And as I've said many times before, you can only lose on a run once. As much as I've gotten my ass kicked tonight, I I can't afford to give up five bucks right now. Now, look, I, I can you know put you know up to their daily maximum part of me, their daily maximum limit um, in, but I won't, you know, uh, I don't know, an honorable win is the best win, right, just like an honorable kill is the best kill, um, you know, for those of you that go out and fight with swords and shields still, um, so, you know, I'd rather win it back organically, and depending on how I'm doing by the weekend, yeah, then I'll throw some money in and get myself back to where I need to be. So, I've had people reach out to me and people that I talk to that are subscribers here on YouTube, uh, why I haven't been making videos. Well, truth of the matter is, I'm a busy guy. Uh, I own a car restoration shop, and, uh, we are so deep on work right now. Uh, I, you know, I'm out there from 9 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. And then when I come inside, you know, I sit down and I play. And, you know, I don't think about recording any of what I'm doing. So we have Banker switched over to Player. So now I'm going to start with Player and Bet the Chop. You know, just so you guys know where my mindset is. So I've got a lot of cool projects out there. Um, a 66 Mustang convertible that we're doing a full restoration on. All right, and that's two wins for that column. Um, now there's nothing else going on, so we're going to do bottoms up. So my first bet is going to be banker. So we've got a 66 Mustang that we've got everything torn out of it. The cowl, the, the firewall's coming out, the floors are out of it. We put new quarters on it, new trunk pins. Got a 63 Impala SS doing all the metal work on. Uh, that's a huge project. Um, but hoping to get that out within the next couple of weeks. And then we got a brand new ProMaster van. Uh, okay, so we switched from player to banker. So again, I'm going to go to player. Um, a brand new ProMaster van, 500 miles on it. I mean, this thing is brand new. And we've got the front end ripped off. We're putting on a winch. This thing's got a lift kit, big tires. Uh, we're cutting windows into it. I mean, we violated every warranty uh, on this truck. Okay, so we've got three, five, seven, two is nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's 13 wins, right? Two, four, six. Six and three is seven. Wait. I'm sorry. Nine. Two, four, six. Six and three is nine. Ten, eleven. Yeah, that's eleven wins. Okay. So, at that point, <laughs> I'm pretty much done. I don't push my luck past that. Um, okay. Okay. So the babbling in between wasn't just so that there was dead air, but it was also so that you kind of, for, for anybody who's a new player, the thought processes that are going to go through your head, you, you, you know, you, you've got to think about a lot of different things and make these decisions all within 
10 seconds, right? Um, does it help to have a set pattern? I'm going to say no. Like I said, I got my ass kicked tonight. Uh, my wife got her ass kicked tonight using our set pattern, which was back at the beginning of the video. Now, for weeks it worked. We were actually playing every hand. And, I mean, we were winning 20, 25 times in a shoe. I mean, you know, and at that time, I was betting $20 hands. Right? So, I mean, think about it. And, and I play four or five shoes a night. So, I mean, we were doing... <laughs> we were rocking and rolling. Um, <clears throat> past two days, not so much. Tonight was kind of a disaster. <clears throat> so... Does a set pattern work? Well, it works until it doesn't. So then what do you do? Well, if you're like anybody else, you go out to YouTube and you look for what somebody else is doing, right? Does that always work? No. Do the cards have a memory? No, they don't. Are there set patterns within the decks? Yes, but that's just the natural order of things, okay? And um, let's see if I could point this out to you. All right. When we look at this shoe, okay, you got to remember the math of the game. 50% of the game is going to be a chop. 12.5% is going to be your twos. 12.5% is going to be your threes. 12.5% is going to be your runs, Okay, now to me, I call a run more than three in a row of something or your two one patterns or your two by two patterns. Does that make sense? All right. So if we look sort of underneath where the, uh, oh, I don't know, where, where the ties are located, um, so, you know, there's a five and then there's a two next to it to indicate, uh, you know, a perfect pair. So if you look underneath there and we see that two, three, two, okay, you'll see patterns like that repeated throughout the shoe. If you get to know to read the shoe, can you play those patterns? Yes. Do people do very well doing that? They certainly do. Me personally, it doesn't really work. Okay. Um... Is Martingale the only way to play this game? No, of course not. It's the way I play the game because I'm looking for a 1-6 in six win. I don't have time to do progressive wins and progressive losses. Okay? I really don't want to be in a shoe all night long. You know, I don't want to be there from beginning to end. I want to get my 10 wins. I want to get out. Now, can Martingale bite you in the ass? <laughs> I'm living proof of it. Um... But so can anything else. Oscar, Oscar's Grind, uh, uh, D. Lambert, uh, you know, especially like for me, I seem to get stuck in that four to seven bet range, right? So if my base bet is five, you know, now I'm stuck on multiple $30, $40 hands. You know, I never get back down the base bet. Does that make me a bad backyard player? I don't know. Maybe. But... I know, you know, I am capable and, you know, have done two to $3,000 a day. So, you know, I don't think I'm a terrible Baccarat player. Um, you know, sometimes the shoes are just going to work against you. You know, for example, the last shoe I lost, I lost in my second column. Now, normally I would stop playing, but, well, I, I'm dumb. And I decided to continue playing. Well, I went on to win 15 more times in that shoe. Okay. Um, so, you know, did I rally back completely? No. I got most of my money back. Um, am I down, way down right now? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, I, got a, I got a road ahead of me. So. Uh, all right. So, those are some of my rambling thought processes. It's a part of how I play the game, all right? 
I know people say that some of the methods I use, I use on the wizard, oh, that'll never work in real life. Well, there you go. That was one shoe, and actually that was 10 easy wins. I mean, yeah, the one we had to go out to the six bet, but, um, you know, I call it luck, whatever. So, just like any other video, if you like it, hit the like button. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. And for all my current subscribers, I want to say thank you. Uh, you know, I said thank you in another video, but I mean, really, uh, I, I, I made one video to show one guy what I did. And, you know, it, it, the subscribers started rolling in after that. It was kind of ridiculous. So, uh, look, guys, gals, um, be safe playing out there. Use your own judgment. Play with only what money that you can afford to lose. Okay. Um, do I use this as part of my income? Yes, I do. Is it my sole source of income? No, it's not. All right. So until we see you next time, good luck.